Okay, so at this point I've removed the DHCP pool from the switch, uh, cleared out my APs, rebooted them so that they don't remember anything. Uh, they should be coming up fresh. And now I'll configure uh, option 43 within the Windows server. So let me go ahead and hide myself and we'll dig into it. So on the Windows server, we'll go into administrative tools and to the DHCP service. So here's our server. I'll need to define a scope for VLAN 113. So we'll do a right click on the server, choose new scope. Next, we have to give our scope a name. Usually I just name it right after the VLAN that it's servicing. So VLAN 113. Okay, so what's the first IP address I want to hand out? I'll say 10.10.113.100. What's the last IP address I want to hand out? 10.10.113, I'll say 200. What the subnet mask of the network is, is a slash 24. I could optionally add exclusions since I specified the range I wanted already. I'll just leave this blank. How long should the lease be? I'll leave it at the default of eight days. Do I want to configure additional options? Yes, absolutely. We need to give it a default server or a default gateway. So 10.10.113.1, click add and next. Now I don't need to give it a domain since I'm not actually doing DNS stuff and I don't want to do DNS since um, that would be a different method. So we'll leave the DNS information blank and we don't care about wins. And yes, I'll go ahead and activate the scope. Finish. Now I have my scope and it has just kind of the plain Jane scope options of here's a default gateway. So at this point, um, you know, uh, a, a AP could request an address of this and it would at least get an address. But now let's do the option 43. So right click on scope options and choose configure options. Scroll down and find option 43. Check the box. Start typing in, leave those two initial zeros there and then just type in that same exact hex string that we did before. So F1 will do Single IP address, well, why don't we do two? So F1, 08, and I'll do 10.10.112.10 and 10.10.112.20. So 0A is 10, 0A is 10, 70 is 112.10, and then 10.10.112.20, which is 14 in hex. So now I'll be advertising two. Hit OK, and now I can see it in there configured. That's all I need to do on the Windows side. If I go back to my switches, the only command I need to worry about now is I need to get those DHCP requests to the server so I configure on VLAN 113 an IP helper command and send it to my uh, Windows server 10.10 10 to 10.6. 10 to oh. Properly formatted always helps. At this point, my APs should be able to reach out and grab an IP address. So that guy remembered things from before. So let's just pay attention to LAP1. Okay. So we've grabbed an IP, 113.100. This should right off the bat see the two controllers, and there we are. So now it learned two, 112.10, 112.20. Worked just like I wanted it to. If we go on to the server, I could see the leases. There's my AP, so I see what IP address it grabbed. So that would be the, the generic option 43 on a Windows server.